Mingalabong. Welcome from Voice of Yanga. If you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you. In a significant development, the Ara Khan Army, AA, has announced the successful capture of all three military council battalions stationed in Raithatong on March 17. According to the official statement, approximately 200 military council personnel managed to escape using Navy ships amidst the operation. The statement, dated March 17, detailed the decisive action taken by the Ara Khan Army, stating, in Raithatong City, Rakhine State, our forces successfully captured Light Infantry Battalions 536, 537, and 538 at approximately 4 o'clock in the evening. Despite facing relentless land, water, and air assaults from the military council regime, the Ara Khan army persisted in its offensive efforts. The statement highlighted that after two weeks of intense fighting, all three battalions fell under Ara Khan army control overcoming fierce resistance and extensive air support from the opposing forces. However, amidst the conflict, innocent civilians bore the brunt of the military council's targeted artillery strikes and airstrikes. The statement lamented the escalating casualties among civilians, emphasizing the urgent need for international attention and intervention to mitigate the humanitarian crisis unfolding in the region. Eyewitnesses have provided harrowing accounts of a devastating airstrike launched by the military council on Thada Muslim village in Minbya Township, Rakhine State. The assault, which occurred on March 18 at 1.30 in the morning, resulted in the deaths of 23 civilians, with many more left injured. Situated approximately 3 miles north of Minbya, Thada Muslim village comprises over 300 houses and is exclusively inhabited by Muslims. In the aftermath of the attack, reports indicate that Muslim refugees have fled to seek shelter in neighboring villages. The AA currently holds control over the entire Minbya township, with no active fighting reported. However, local residents have expressed concerns over the military council's repeated airstrikes in the region. Since the AA's capture of Minbya, there have been at least four airstrikes targeting both villages housing refugees and critical infrastructure such as schools and hospitals. The ongoing violence continues to exacerbate the humanitarian crisis in Rakhine State, underscoring the urgent need for international intervention to protect civilian lives and restore peace to the region. In a daring mission this past Saturday, Indian Navy commandos executed a daring rescue operation freeing all 17 crew members of the Malta-flagged bulk carrier Ruin from the clutches of Somali pirates. The dramatic two-day operation, which involved special operations aircraft, culminated in the capture of 35 pirates. After a tense standoff, the Indian Navy announced the successful rescue on Saturday afternoon, with all pirates surrendering without injury. The operation was sparked by Ruin's attempt to depart Somali waters, where it had been held since December amid ransom negotiations. Security analysts suspect the pirates aimed to use Ruin as a mothership for further hijackings. However, the Indian Navy had closely monitored the vessel since its initial hijacking, maintaining surveillance with warships and drones. The interception occurred 1,400 nautical miles from the Indian coast. Though reports suggest an exchange of fire, the Navy maintains only warning shots were fired to coerce the pirates. During the operation, Ruin's steering gear was damaged, preventing its return to Somali waters. The successful outcome of the mission saw all 17 crew members, including seven Bulgarians, one Angolan, and nine Mainmari sailors, rescued unharmed. The 35 pirates are currently detained aboard INS Kolkata, where interrogations are underway. It's uncertain how India will handle their prosecution, whether they'll face trial in India or be returned to Somalia. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing story. Local news from Voice of Yangon. To get a notification every time we release another bulletin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.